what is the most a dollar has ever gotten you? And someone comments, a wife, three beautiful children, and frankly, my life as I know it. Story time. Back in junior high, I liked a girl and flirted with her quite a bit. One time during a band trip, we stopped at a gas station and she bought me a pack of gum. I tried to pay her back one dollar, but she refused. So I slipped the dollar in her pocket. She then slipped the dollar in my backpack. And so began the back and forth with the one dollar bill. We found silly ways to give a back and forth. I mailed it to her house. She stuffed it in a gum wrapper and offered me a piece. I then decided that I would ask her out on this one dollar. I wrote, quote, will you go out with me on it? And put it in a note and gave it to her. She said, yes, of course. It would be a terrible story otherwise, I suppose. Yes. <laughs> About four years later, I still had the same dollar kept away. On our anniversary, I wrote, Will you marry me? On the bottom of the dollar. We've been married for 15 years and have three awesome kids. We still have the dollar stored away. It's perfect. <laughs> it's so cool to have something like that. Um, there's literally like a, a cat meme that they post. And that is like exactly. It's like the emoji. It's exactly how I feel inside. Oh <laughs> my God. Oh, it's just like this cat with like watery ass eyes. It's yeah, that's amazing. I, I think they should like put it up in like a shadow box on their wall and just like. I uh, put that bitch in a safe. <laughs> it's, it's too special. At, at that uh, point, that almost becomes a bigger symbol of your relationship than your wedding rings would be that is yeah i mean it's like you owe your whole life to that well, it just dollar. holds so much there's so much symbolism in it yeah i guess a ring and there's a ring and there's tradition and it represents your marriage and all that but this is a true token to your entire relationship I know. and it goes so deep it goes all the way to the practically to the moment you met almost it's just so cool. It's, it's really everything. cool to have that. It's, I love, I absolutely, absolutely love hearing people's relationship stories. And so for the YouTube on this one, in the comments, please tell us if you met in like a really cute way like this, or even if you didn't, like, I love hearing how people met. Um, I just think it's like, it's so amazing to me how something so simple, like borrowing a dollar can like have this domino effect on their lives and trigger such an amazing string of occurrences. Especially from junior high. Junior high, it's not on every day. On a band day. trip. <laughs> like, this one time at band camp. No, I used to play trumpet. Have you, you haven't seen American Pie either? Oh, I saw American Pie, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. This one time at band camp. Yeah. Oh, I know. Okay. Yeah. My dad used to say it all the time. Yeah. So. <laughs> Yeah, I played the clarinet for a little bit. I wasn't very good, but... You did? Yeah. Oh, we should break up the clarinet and trumpet someday and see how we sound. I don't even think I could suck my We'll start ring. an episode like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, it would, it would be brutal. People would be like, shut that shit off. <laughs> so, up next, my eight-year-old turned off my alarm so I could sleep in. I woke up around 9.30 this morning, and she was snuggled up against me with her school Chromebook camera off, doing her live lesson, and even scribbling down notes. Showered, teeth brushed, and a warm bowl of oatmeal on the table next to my bed. She also knocked out over half of her assignments while I was peacefully snoring away. Honestly, I'm fucking speechless. I've always had issues sleeping properly, due to anxiety if I had to guess. Instead of taking my being tired slash irritable personally, she grabbed it and ran in the opposite direction. The most thoughtful thing anyone has ever done for me came from an eight-year-old. I just really needed to share how warm and fuzzy I feel right now. Yeah, it'd be ama an amazing feeling. That is the moment you become crazy proud as a parent. So, so incredibly proud. They woke up, took care of themselves, brushed their teeth, had breakfast, started their school, and had the awareness to say, hey, I'd rather you get a little more sleep. I'm going to turn your alarm off and then be right next to you, 
having done all this stuff and I'm on my shit. I know. Truly like winning slash doing parenting at its best. Like the fact that she didn't even like just shut the alarm off and just say, hey, I'm going to take a rain check today. Like she fucking went full blast and like did her school scribbling notes. She made oatmeal. Like I think kids, one thing about children that I really, really love is how intuitive they are and just like so they just want to be so helpful unless it's like the dishes or something like they really don't want to do but you give a kid a task and like oh my god yeah how can I help you like when I was nannying I I just my nanny kids were the best and even like my little niece and nephew because like I'm only there you know I'm not the parents I'm not asking them to do a lot so when I'm there they're like always so helpful and just such little cuties well, and there is something to uh, when you're growing up. There is something that feels so great about doing something nice or completing a task when you aren't asked to do it, mm-hmm. and you're just doing it to to do it and help someone out, and whether that be your parents or whomever else. But it just feels good to do those things, and it's really cool to see that in someone as young as eight? I think it's intuitive. Um, One of the things that I really deal with with OT is dementia, Alzheimer's. And one of the things that I recommend for my patients' families to do is to give them tasks. Whatever, like, whatever you can find. Mm -hmm. People at their core like feeling needed They like feeling helpful. They like feeling successful. So I always say, like, it doesn't matter what it is. Give them something to do. Give them socks to sort. Give them a flower arrangement to make. Give them, like, anything so small as, like, literally, I had a teacher in grad school give me an example of um, garbage bag rolls. Like, okay, I need all of these garbage bags separated can you take this roll, split them individually, and then like tie it in a bow? Mm-hmm. And so it's just like people at their core want to just be helpful and be good. And it's it's just so amazing to see a little a little nugget do this. And I know I probably come across as very anti kids and I'm I'm again, I'm very unsure where I am in regards to my own kids, but I love kids. I love I want to be the fun aunt and babysit, but then like be able to give them back. But that's just that's just where I'm at right now. Like we're we're not in a place for kids. Like I made a comment. I was like, I have a food baby the other day, and you were like, Thank God it's not a real one. We're just we're not there yet. But this little kiddo is absolutely amazing. So there is an edit. He goes, I don't know what these awards do specifically, but They did make me feel even more fuzzy, which is what counts. Thanks, guys. Please give me more cute stories. Even if I'm slow to respond, I really enjoy reading them. There's a lot of really cute comments on this one. She's such a doll. You're so lucky to have a little kid like her, man. And OP goes, that's exactly how I feel right now. Parental pride is a hell of a thing. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah. Um, You deserve to feel all that pride. She's a keeper, all right. I've been showing my appreciation through making an ass of myself as, per request, giving on-demand pony rides. My back hurts, but with homework out of the way so early, I have no excuse. Truth. I loved those pony rides when I was little. (laughs) Yeah, a lot of just like really great parenting supportive comments. Um, So incredible. There is like another update. I literally cried into a bowl of oatmeal earlier today, but somehow I can't properly handle all of this wholesomeness. It's very fulfilling. So fulfilling. Like, that's just amazing. So cute. So wholesome. So happy. Yeah.